गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रेन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी क्लास सेवेंथ सोशल साइंस आर एनवायरमेंट जोग्राफी सो दिस इज द बुक ऑफ जोग्राफी एंड द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज आर एनवायरमेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो डियर चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर आई होप सो यू ऑल हैव परचेज योर बुक्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ योर जोग्राफी बुक दैट इज चैप्टर वन एनवायरमेंट what is environment dear children you might have heard this term multiple times in your day to day life so first of all let us talk about environment so basically dear children you can see here in the box which is in the right side it is given environment is our basic life support system it provides the air we breathe the water we drink and the food we eat so anything which provides us anything which provides us all the important things in our life to sustain our life that is termed as environment it provides us the air it provides us the water that we drink food that we eat how do human beings modify this natural environment like the car fumes pollute the air okay so there are a lot of things which pollutes the atmosphere also which provides the environment human beings make cars mills factories to manufacture this is how human beings modify natural environment so dear children when we talk about all this thing like this is a story about one boy his name is ravi okay and he started going to okay some one of the okay favorite uh, thing he used to do in his vacation he no is that the only playground next to his school okay is actually was dug up okay and people said that a huge building will be made in place of that so ravi was almost in tears when he realized that a big playground is converted into buildings and all okay he shared his feelings okay in the assembly the principal too sadly observed okay see our environment is changing okay so our environment is changing because of our own acts okay clear dear children so this is a story about the environment let us study now let us talk about what are the various components of environment components means important parts of environment okay so first there are different types of environment first environment is a natural environment what it is it natural environment what are the things which are there in natural environment like living things living things are called biosphere what living things are called biosphere then water it is called hydrosphere then air it is called atmosphere then land is called what land is called as lithosphere so land is lithosphere living things are biosphere air is atmosphere and water is hydrosphere now let us study about human made what are the human made things like these buildings park bridges roads industries and monuments these are made by human beings and what are the human environment like we are living in family community religion educational economic and political situation is termed as human so remember dear children there are three components of environment first is a natural component second is human made component and third is a human component okay so dear children there are two components also when we talk about the origin where the environment is actually originated there are two types of okay clear components of our environment first component of our environment is known as a biotic component what it is known as biotic component second one is called abiotic what is the biotic component like if the living world okay which is full of organism living things are called as a biotic component and non living things are called as a abiotic component so you can see here biotic means a world of living okay any biotic means a world of non living like what are the what are the living things dear children plants and animals so plants and animals are called as a biotic component and what are the non living things dear children like land is considered as a okay abiotic component okay so dear children you might have seen from the above okay conversation of the students that okay people so what is basically environment environment is all about a place people things and nature that surround any living organism is called environment so our environment is made up of living things also and non living things also okay so it is a combination of both living and non living both biotic and abiotic that makes the environment understood your children now let us talk about first about natural environment what is natural environment we are living in okay nature like land water air plants animals they comprise natural environment you are familiar with the meaning of the world okay there are different different words like first one land land is coming under lithosphere so what is lithosphere lithosphere means land what is hydrosphere hydrosphere means water what is atmosphere atmosphere means air okay so let us first talk about lithosphere lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth it is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil okay 
so that is considered as a lithosphere and here land is present what is present land is present lithosphere is a domain that provides forest grassland for grazing land for agriculture and human settlements okay then when we talk about hydrosphere what is hydrosphere the domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere it comprises of various sources of water in different types of water bodies like rivers lakes seas ocean these are coming under okay hydrosphere then what is atmosphere atmosphere consists of a thin layer of air that surrounds the earth what is atmosphere thin layer of earth okay which surrounds the atmosphere it contains air in it okay dear children so this is there so you can see the word environment is actually a french word what it is a french word and its meaning is environer what is the word environer means neighborhood so lot of things are present near our neighborhood near our atmosphere that is considered as a atmosphere or as an environment okay now let us talk about ecosystem what is ecosystem it is a type system that is basically formed by the interaction of living each other and the physical and chemical form of the environment in which they live all are linked by transfer of energy in uh, what is the ecosystem ecosystem is considered as a system where both living and non living okay are living together and there is a transfer of energy what there is a transfer of energy is considered as a ecosystem so environment is big inside the environment what comes ecosystem comes there are different types of ecosystem like first is a ecosystem of home ecosystem of forest ecosystem of water ecosystem of uh, you know land there are different different types of ecosystems okay now so you might have been knowing dear children that atmosphere is a and it protects atmosphere protect us from the hot rays of the sun because okay there is a filter you can imagine that okay like whenever we are making tea what we are doing we are just filtering the tea with the help of sea in a similar manner this particular okay atmosphere protect us from the harmful heat which is coming from the sun it also protect us from the uv light uv light you know ultraviolet light which is coming from the sun so it consists of a number of gases dust and water vapor the changes in the atmosphere produces changes in the weather and you know dear children we are living in a biosphere what is a biosphere the plant and animal kingdom together make a biosphere or the living world what is biosphere biosphere where living beings are living living beings are living are called as biosphere okay now and what is basically important component in biosphere we are having land water air interact with each other okay to support the life now what is ecosystem let us discuss through one example like you might have went to ncc camps or scout and guide camps so ravi also went to attend the same jc exclaimed what a heavy downpour it reminds me of my home in kerala you should come and see how it pours sometimes there is a heavy waterfall so we, we, uh, okay then what jay shankar hira hira said to jay shankar okay or jaisalmer uh, hira hira from jaisalmer he said we get no rain so some places there is a heavy rainfall in some places there is a less rainfall we see only kikar and sand everywhere okay and camels so like in desert area you will get very less water and you will see lot of okay desert animals and only sand okay so then it is not just camel if you visit our desert you see snakes also lizard also insects also everything is there living okay so ravi wondered why do the animal the vegetation and the way people it differs from place to place like when you go to rajasthan you will get different type of you know atmosphere when you go to kashmir you will get different atmosphere different animals so there are lot of diversity which are there among different atmosphere now dear children you know when we celebrate our world environment day every year you don't know so you should read this box we celebrate our world environment day every year on 5th of june so remember 5th june is celebrated as world environment day okay now let us talk about so all plants and animals and human beings depend on immediate surrounding often they are also in okay interdependent on each other like we are dependent on each other okay and we are dependent on plants for our food okay clear like we eat plants we used to cook vegetables or those who are non vegetarian they are eating animals okay so we are dependent on other organism for our food clear got it and that is interdependency often they are also interdependent on each other this relation between a living organism it forms a chain what it forms a chain there could be an ecosystem of large rainforest grassland desert mountain lake river ocean and even small pond okay now let us talk about what is human environment let us discuss human beings interact with the environment and modify it according to their need early humans adapted themselves to the natural surrounding they led a simple life you might be knowing that like early humans were living in a okay forest area then industrial revolution came and industries got developed transportation system got developed okay lot of development took place so have you ever thought why you love eating a juicy watermelon in summer like summer season 
सीजन इज नाउ कमिंग यू लाइक टू ईट वाटर मेलन हॉट रोस्टेड पीनट्स इन विंटर बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू द एटमोसफियर वी आर ईटिंग अ परफेक्ट बैलेंस इज नेसरी बिटवीन द नेचुरल ह्यूमन एनवायरमेंट ह्यूमन मस्ट लर्न टू लीव एंड यूज देयर एनवायरमेंट इन हारमोनियस मैनर वी मस्ट यूज आर एनवायरमेंट इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर ओके सो डियर चिल्ड्रेन नूरी इज वन गर्ल फ्रॉम मिजोरम who is nuri she is a girl from mizoram from okay from ravi's class and whenever often what she is doing often she talks about or often she talks about the lush green atmosphere of her place she used to tell that our mizoram is filled with a lush green atmosphere seeing ravi upset at having lost his playground nuri invited him to visit her home okay so nuri said that come ravi to my home and i will show you the very beautiful atmosphere in our home ravi teacher ravi teacher asks the students to draw the landscape okay landscape you know beautiful picture of the sea or scenery where lush green atmosphere used to be there okay and houses and activities that the people and places they visit during the holidays okay clear then so this is human environment you know dear children earlier how people used to do transaction they used to do transaction with the help of one system called barter system what system barter system like whenever they need to purchase anything they used to exchange okay clear so this exchange system is known as a barter system okay what is a barter system like for example earlier there was no currency so for example someone is having 1 kg wheat but not having 1 kg rice but other is having just opposite other is having 1 kg okay rice but not 1 kg wheat so what they both will do they will exchange like one will give 1 kg rice to the other and another will give 1 kg wheat to the other so this system of exchange and doing trade trade means business is known as a barter system means you are just exchanging goods okay and you are getting the goods which you want so earlier no currency was there there were no notes no coins nothing was there so in this way exchange took place understood dear children so that is a way how exchange actually takes place okay so this particular chapter has been finished i hope so you all have got to understood about it now so what we need to do dear children is to save our atmosphere that's very important now talk to some elderly person in your neighborhood and collect like when you talk to your old members in your family they will tell you about the trees okay clear and uh, neighborhood and when uh, when she was your age like when she was ask your grandmother like when she was small of your age what other things she used to see in in uh, nature then indoor games that she used to play her favorite fruit at okay when she was at your age how did they make themselves comfortable during hot summer these are all the question you can gather from your elderly members like grandmother and grandfather now let us discuss question answer dear children so this chapter has been finished the first question what is an ecosystem so ecosystem comprises of both living and non living things that is okay that is already i have taught you dear children that consists of both living and non living things which interact to each other and there is a transfer of energy okay from one okay particular organism to another organism okay so that you can write down okay from your book okay second question what do you mean by natural environment natural environment means which is already present in the nature okay all the trees pond then uh, we are having animals these are coming under natural environment natural environment also also has two component biotic component and abiotic biotic means living components and non abiotic means non living component what are the major components of the atmosphere two components of the atmosphere are there na biotic component living component and abiotic non living component give for example of human made environment like human made environment lot of examples of human made environment are there okay like first of all roads roads are schools are human made environment schools we are making okay then we are making um, buildings okay they are coming under shopping malls okay complexes shops these are all coming under okay what environment human made environment what is lithosphere lithosphere is the okay area which comprises of land what it comprises land so land it comprises okay what are the two major components of biotic at at environment okay what are the two major components of biotic environment you have already studied na biotic environment major components yes in biotic environment the major components you see here the two important components of biotic environment you can tell about any bi important components biosphere we are having one is what biosphere okay so you can talk about the important components biosphere and ecosystem what we having biosphere and ecosystem what is biosphere biosphere is about plant and animal kingdom together they make biosphere and what is ecosystem ecosystem is formed by the interaction of all living organism with each other and also with the physical and chemical factors of the environment okay now then what is biosphere biosphere is a okay i just taught you now biosphere is what it is a living component and it it is a consisting of the interaction between plant and animal kingdom plants and animal they form biosphere 
and it supports it is a very narrow zone where land water and air interact together to support the life so supporting life is biosphere now let us do second question take the correct answer first one which is not a natural ecosystem aquarium is not a natural system because aquarium is a okay man made ecosystem desert is a natural ecosystem forest is also a natural ecosystem which is not a component of human atmosphere okay human atmosphere component community land religion is not a component of human atmosphere. okay which is the human made environment human made environment is road which is a threat to and by threat means dangerous danger to environment growing plant growing population is a danger because as population will grow demand will also grow so if demand will grow we need to do more and more to fulfill the growing demand okay dear children now let's talk about the match the column what is biosphere biosphere is a narrow zone where our surrounding domain of water what will come so let us talk about biosphere Bi biosphere is domain of water no are surrounding or narrow zone where land water and air interact yes biosphere is a narrow zone d where land where land and water interact atmosphere is a blanket of air with surround us what is hydrosphere domain of water what is environment are surrounding is environment so this is what the correct answer dear children you can do it okay now give reasons man modifies his environment how man modifies the environment when man make his okay own materials or resources that is coming under man-made resources and in this way man modifies the resources like earlier like you have seen the story of ravi earlier that area near the school of the ravi was a playground so it is now converted into what converted into house okay so this is what the case okay how this man modifies the environment so man modifies the environment for his own need okay and changes the entire location and area of the land plants and animals depend on each other yes plants and animals they depend on each other how they depend on each other plants okay plants depend on animals first of all animals depend on plants for their food and how plant depend on animals like plant depend on animals for minerals okay water and other resources like whenever any animal got died then all its okay minerals or all its important nutrients get mixed in the soil so in this way from soil the plants get their entire nutrient okay so both are dependent on each other and this dependency of plant depend on animal okay clear and their interaction is no, is coming under ecosystem what it is coming under ecosystem and both plants are living and animals are also living so they form a biosphere what it what it forms a biosphere okay so this is all done now let us talk about an activity imagine an ideal environment where you would love to live your ideal environment so dear children what you do you just paint okay i think you all like paintings so just paint it what is your ideal environment and make an environment where tree should be there plant should be there beautiful landscape should be there beautiful uh, uh, you know birds will be chirping all around is water flowing okay so the atmosphere and the environment where you want to live just just paint it okay in your copy in the blank side okay so dear children write down all these questions in your copies okay i'll be checking it write down all these questions in your copy and just find out the answers from the book okay and where you have to write this entire questions in your copy and what type of copy you have to make you already know that you have to make interleave copy means one side blank another side line one side blank another side line okay for geography only you can see the book list and copy list and you make it and complete all this thing in your copy okay so for geography you have to make practical like copy means one side blank and other side okay lining okay so i hope you all have understood your children so our entire chapter has been finished okay clear i hope you got it thank you so much